hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are diving into epicor the powerful erp solution trusted by businesses around the world whether you're new to epicor or just need a refresher we will walk you through the essentials from navigating the interface to managing modules like finance and venery and more so let's begin now, the first thing that you should do, visit the official website, which is going to be epicor.com. On the top corner, you have two options. You can contact the Epicor sales department or click the customer hub. What will happen is you will be forwarded to a new page wherein you can log in using your credentials. Or if you haven't already, there's going to be an option for you to sign up for a free account. All I have to do is provide all the information needed. All right, and then you will be forwarded to the login page. Once your account has been approved by Epicor, they will give you a free access for you to get familiarized with the platform. And then you will be forwarded to the welcome page here in Epicor. All right, so let's click the begin tour. This is going to be the perfect opportunity for us to explore the platform and get familiarized with the tools and features. You have the knowledge search on the top left corner create a support case wayfinder or service request my items and of course other resources we're going to discuss all of them we're gonna click this x for now because for one basically the knowledge search is going to be your self-help tool within the epicore support you can use it to search articles guides faqs and documentations related to epicore's products and issues all right so you have a lot of here it's a built-in search engine for support content, which is great for quick troubleshooting without needing to contact support. You have the search articles, most viewed, and a lot more. You have the videos as well if you wanted to get more insights about Epicor. All right. Now, if you click the create a support case, you can use this when you can't resolve an issue on your own. Okay. For example, if you wanted to add a brief description of your issue, for example, Right, outline your issue. And then you can attach an image if you want. And then from here, click the save button. Right? Click the submit button. You need to provide as much as information as you can. Okay? let's not deal with that first we're gonna go to the wayfinder and a service request so for now we're gonna leave it as it is because you need to provide the product module affected description of the issue attachments if you have like screenshots logs in a lot more and priority level so let's leave it for now we're gonna go to the wayfinder and service request section now this is gonna be a guided help tool it walks you step by step through common tasks or solutions a service request can be for non-technical needs like training inquiries consulting services configuration assistance think of it as a more of a proactive help me do it for me approach all right you have the account management product management licenses epicore learning all right professional services and of course the support now you see there's going to be an erp ps consultant implementation survey so what it does is it's a software system used by companies to manage and integrate key parts of their business like finance supply chain hr manufacturing and a lot of course not only that if you go to the my items i'm gonna go here this is your personal dashboard it shows cases like you've submitted all support cases service request any items you're tracking like bug reports or enhancement requests all right it helps you monitor progress responses and updates in one spot you see you can view open items report if you do that as of the moment we don't have any records yet but if you do it'll be auto populated here all right and then there's gonna be my items now the my items is similar to my account items but the thing is it has the open support cases you have the open and close supports if you have a lot of support cases here they automatically auto populate and you can filter them here okay now next is going to be the other resources 
Now we're gonna deal each one of them with one being the my assessments. Basically, here on the my assessments, you would notice that there's gonna be the open, completed, and expired. But the thing is, since we don't have any information yet, so we can't pull out any records. But if you do, it it will automatically auto populate all of the information for your surveys, right? There's gonna be a three horizontal lines here. That means you have options to export as PDF, export as Excel, and export as CSV, depending on your preferences. But you have that option, open, completed, and expired. It loads data, but the thing is, again, we don't have any data yet. And then there's going to be the Epic Web. Okay? Now, the Epic Web requires you to sign in with your Epic Web. If you don't have any credentials, you're not going to be able to log in. But if you do, you can sign in with your Epic Core Identity. All right, and of course, you will be asked with the Epic or Identity FAQs or Frequently Asked Questions. So we're going to skip this because we don't have that option. Instead, we're going to the Epic or Ideas or Registration Issues. If you do, you will be forwarded to this section. But the thing is, we're not authorized or record is not valid. Why? Because this is a free trial. All right. We're only uh, trying to familiarize with the uh, platform. So if you wanted to fully utilize and uh, exhaust all the tools here you need to subscribe to the premium plans in in terms of the plans when you go back to the official website you would notice that when you go to the products you have all these all right but they do not publicly share the pricing dependent on the uh, tools and uh, applications the thing is you can get support for your product there's one option here if you log into epic here or customer success hub or click the contact us option chat with sales so that they would give you right complete the contact form right here because that is a way for them to give you a tailored fit solution depending on your business needs all right basically the epic core is kind of flexible in terms of your budget needs and goals Click the submit button and one of the uh, Epicor sales support team will contact you regarding about your inquiry. All right. And that's it for today's video. I hope this walkthrough gave you a solid start on how to use Epicor for smarter business management. If you found this helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you won't miss our next tutorial. If you have any questions about Epicor or want a deep dive into specific feature drop your thoughts in the comments below we read all of them and would love to help you out thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video